Well, yeah. Let's talk to Sandry. We've got a new friend with us. I, I was gonna. Do you, have you listened to King Gizzard? I have not. No. Yeah, they they just um tickets went on sale Friday. They're coming in June. Fucking amazing band. I have to review them. They're absolutely amazing. I never listened to them because when I had my psychedelic neo psychedelic band, I would when you submit your shit to like Spotify and iTunes. Mm-hmm. First, you got to be like, oh, well, what do you guys sound like? And then they put you in this, like, group of where they... Where they would rate so, you, yeah. The, yeah, wh- wh- and then when people listen to that band, you sort of pop up. Mm-hmm. And then after about a year or something, after it listens, uh, you actually get a, I don't know what you call it, like a more accurate match of, of what people listen to. And I would, uh, Kroll Klecks would always be com- compared to King Gizzard. And I was like... I don't want to fucking listen to this band because then people are going to think I was influenced by it or something. I, I just I just wanted to just keep writing my own <laughs> shit. And then, dude, they are fucking awesome. They're like a seven, eight-piece band. They got oh, the really? Zernas, flutes. They got the Snake Charming flute. And then they, they have uh, two drummers. And it just sounds like straight up. It sounds like what I wish the 60s sound like. Basically, huh. I don't know how to. It's 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 a it's. I don't, I don't even what what to. You, you've listened to some Bill, right? I some, know. and I just remember being at a bar in New Orleans, and it was they had a jukebox, and it was one of those old ones, like not the new touch tone one or whatever. Where it actually had like like shit to like, like forty fives in them, yeah. And it's like I want this CD and this track, and they I was looking for like right on. Let's listen to some Aerosmith. Let's listen to some fucking Lead Belly. Let's listen to anything. Eagles. That, yeah, Eagle. Anything, and they didn't have anything, but they had King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Yep. And I was like, All right. <laughs> that's an amazing name. That's yeah. the whole. Yeah. King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard mm-hmm. uh, coming to Chicago June and June tenth. Uh, and I found out when. Remember, I showed you Pipe Eye. Mm-hmm. They're, re- they're really there's a guy named Pipe yeah. Eye. It, it's just. Uh, I think he has like a wah on his. Um, he has a weird organ. I forgot what it's called. It's it's like a '60s organ, but it has just one. It uh, it sounds like the Jeopardy theme song, but but, <laughs> okay, but, but, okay. but it's but it's got a wah on it. And That's I was like, oh man, this sounds so goofy. It sounds great when you're high. I found out it's the guitarist from King Gizzard, Pipe. Oh, that makes sense. So, <laughs> oh really? So. So then, it, well, uh, is the, that his nickname? Do they call him Pie Pie? Or? I I think that's just his band. Th- they call him Cookie, which is I think even cooler. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, I want to uh, know that. But I really want to know that backstory. Yeah, I. Well, oh, his uh, his real name is Cook Cook Craig, I think. Oh, the, but I was hoping so, for like a, yeah, a better backstory. Yeah, than yeah, that. He seems so pretty a little bit, inspired now that you know. Yeah, like, like that's it. That was a pretty. He used easy, to be yeah. this very sugary, tasty transsexual prostitute, you know, and then Cookie was his street name. See that know. that I enjoy. That would that would be a cool documentary. That I would right eat there. with milk. Yeah, he only fucked in a jacuzzi of milk in a heart shaped <laughs> fryer of milk. <laughs> <laughs> you stay the fuck away from my dog, <laughs> okay. all right? Uh, no, but. But but uh, the thing that I'm really impressed and I, I, that made me fall in love with this band, the stuff that you heard might not be the best stuff, Bill, because they, I, I, I like looked into this because I cannot believe this shit. They fucking had four albums when they were being compared to my band, like on Spotify or whatever. Mm-hmm. This year, two thousand or two thousand seventeen, so last year, they were, they 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 told everyone, hey. We cannot tour anymore. We're gonna fucking kill each other because touring just makes you want to like rip each other apart. So we're just gonna keep r- writing all the shit we haven't recorded. And they wrote five fucking albums in 2017. Holy shit! And and they all sound amazing. They all sound amazing. That's I can't. Uh, that's pretty fucking prolific. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll look into that. I'll definitely look into that. Yeah. Tickets and are on you sale. And you you cannot uh, forget a name like uh, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. But yeah. <laughs> You say that, but no, you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a follow up? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm just yeah. playing we, devil's advocate here. We were at Harold's Chicken, and they did have King Gizzards there. <laughs> That's did, true. Did they were on they special. Did, they did. I, they did. I'm I not joking. See. Oh, really? King Gizzards, yeah. So, chicken gizzards, I would assume. Yeah, they have it all there. King Gizzard and the chicken. Wizards? Have you guys ever had gizzard? 
I, I have not. I usually take that part out of the turkey and throw it straight in the garbage. I, I heard it's not good. It's like a just really fucking rubbery and chewy, like it, it's chicken flavored gum or rubber. That yeah. sounds like this isn't the Wonka factory, so that's got to be fucking gross. <laughs> like, <laughs> like atomic fire cotton candy. Oh, oh no, that's thank so. You. Is there some down here? It's yeah, right, it's right, yeah, it's right in front oh, of you. Is it really? Mm-hmm. I'll open it. All right. Bam. Operation. Oh. So who uh, who decided to make this abomination of man? Dude, you've this. never even tried it. I I can see it. This this one's pretty good, actually. It's so this good. This one is good. I'll, Do I'll try it. Yeah, I'll try it. I'll toss. Yeah. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. Uh, all Sorry. right. Is, is it really? It? I, I'd still eat it. I would, too. <laughs> it looks like insulation. It's, yeah. It's cotton candy, man. I bet that's what Willy Wonka insulates his pad with. That right? I bet he has a terrible bug problem, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Bam. Right. Did you grab a piece? Oh, yeah. Oh, is this the floor cotton candy? Yep. Yeah, oh, good. I, I grabbed from the, uh, the non-floor. Ah, uh. so. Yeah, you're Ke- so repressed. Uh, well, Ke- Kelly works next to a place that uh, makes this shit, just weird flavors. We have a really funny of um, video of Gavin, where uh, we we t- I think we told him it's like root beer flavored, and then he eats it and it's actually like sweet baby Ray barbecue sauce. Oh, that's so <laughs> gross! He's like, he's like, Why did this you? This is make? actually pretty good though. I, I uh, right? yeah, right? I judged it too soon. It, right. th- there was a cupcake, which I I don't like because I don't really like sweets that much, but yeah. But I did. I loved uh, popcorn. Popcorn tasted. Oh, good. all I can think of is uh, is the jelly beans. Popcorn flavored jelly beans. So gross. Yeah. Oh no no, no I don't. Got, well, it's buttered popcorn. It's the so, so basically it just it it mm. tastes like uh it, it, if you just opened your mouth underneath one of those like butter dispensers at yeah. an AMC theater. And then like put it in a jelly bean, and I do mean like in that quantity. It's like they packed they packed like two sticks of butter, yeah, but like fake butter. Oh yeah, and sugar. I don't like jelly beans in general, though. Yeah, I not a huge disgusting. fan. I feel like I can feel them just like gnawing at yeah, my, the enamel of my teeth. teeth. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, not a after not a huge after fan. eating jelly beans. It's like that feeling when you don't brush your teeth and you wake up with like caked sugar. Yeah, yeah. that shit's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Fuzzy teeth. Yeah, I know exactly know exactly how that is. My mouth's an ocean, and these are the coral. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful, man. Uh, I, hope, a- I hope you don't have shit living in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of- <laughs> oh, I've got barnacles. <laughs> I've got diabetes as well from that butter. If you're like me, I <laughs> have di- suffer from diabetes. Oh, I'd God. like to remake that commercial while I'm running that theater popcorn into my mouth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just butter spilling down your face, getting in your thick white mustache, yeah, staining your cowboy hat that's on the ground next to you. You know what's funny? Um, I don't know if I told uh, I don't know if I told you, Bill, about my amputee friend. No, not not Stubbs. Not <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but no, I don't think so. No, no, I, I have a friend. I'm not going to mention his name because I'm actually just Facebook friends with him, so I'm probably disrespecting the fuck out of him right now. But he, how we were saying before, how it's like, like anybody with a like us who have, well, all of us sort of have like epilepsy, sort of a disability, so we crack jokes about it. Yeah. Oh, oh, I had a new. Yeah, I, I had. I was gonna. I think I told you, Bill. I had a new joke. I was gonna say like, oh, Wait, hey, back to your amputee friend. Oh, yes. I'm One thing at a time. Thank you, man. I need to focus. Uh, he he um he has flesh eating diabetes. I don't know. It's a really rare condition, but <laughs> is it it um type I, you know I want to I, I want to see that in uh it, in a medical journal because yeah, uh, yeah it's 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 a it's some weird condition. He said he that's that's the way he described it to me. So but but he thinks it's really funny that he doesn't care. Did he get diabetes from <laughs> like, eating too much flesh? <laughs> no, no, no. He, of people with diabetes. Yes, yes. That that you hit it on the spot, Zach. The, of people with diabetes. That, yeah, no. Yeah. But he, um, I forgot. He he's just like really pr- proud that he doesn't give a fuck. He'll you know when people take pictures of like a really nice set up, perfect dinner, and mm-hmm. then put it on Instagram. He he'll go to like a gas station, 
and get like a Slurpee and then Cheetos and pork rinds. He's like, here's what's going to eat me away tonight. And then, and then, and then, and then he, and then he makes even funny memes where he'll, his, uh, they actually had to chop off his hand. So there's only like a stub on his wrist now. And he'll write a joke. I think, I, I don't, I don't remember what he said. He's like, he was saying his ma was decorating the Christmas tree. And then, yeah, 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 yeah. My my mom said I'm I'm dec- my mom said hey I'm decorating the Chris why, why don't I'm decorating the Christmas tree why don't you give me a hand huh. and, you know and then he's like then Boom. this would happen and then he took a picture of his stub so it would have uh had, had to take him a long time to type that out with just one hand yeah right? uh, or you just get like really good at it with that with or you mean hand. or you mean mash it out oh so. I guess I mean at that point. Just like banging on a keyboard. It doesn't matter how good Open he thought the movie the was. You can only ever give it one thumbs up. See, what I don't get is like, he's kind of, <laughs> what, what I don't get is he's kind of like a crust punk kid. It's like, man, if I was him, I would at least get like a fucking Captain Hook hook in that mosh pit, you know? What oh, hell yeah. <laughs> It'd go, like, that would uh, that would be the first thing I would do is get a, get a hook. Yeah. Either or, that or Luke Skywalker hand. Or like Army of Darkness, like or 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 in Hook, where he's got the cigar holder. Mm-hmm. In his yeah, hook. there you go. Or like a or like a uh, magnifying glass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smee, smee. Or a prosthetic <laughs> hand. <laughs> mm. well, that's what I was saying. Luke Skywalker hand. Oh. They actually, I was just reading about this, and um, they they have finally, for the first time, successfully attached prosthetic that. Uh, can feel that attaches to the nerve endings and you can feel the tips of your fingers on a prosthetic hand. Huh. And I thought to myself, uh, my insurance runs out this month. If I cut my hand off now, <laughs> <laughs> I can start the cyborg revolution and I'm really considering it. So guys. Well, I'm wondering how that <laughs> works. Cause isn't that, um, considered cosmetic. So what insurance cover it? Well, I I guess I would have to make the case that it would uh, interfere with my work, so it would no mm. longer be cosmetic. Sure. Um, I'd have to get a job first. That requires a lot of finger movement, or that provides insurance. <laughs> You're gonna. No, no, be no, I have a job that provides insurance. I You're just, gonna I'm be the new Sting King. That's there yeah. we go. Yeah, I could be the Sting, and somehow somehow sell it like I need a hand for that. <laughs> You're going to need that alligator to roll your arm off perfectly? Yep, there we go. I bet you that's covered under his crazy-ass <laughs> insurance policy. Can you imagine that his insurance agent right. like shitting his pants every time he goes on one of these vacations, <laughs> going, no, my boss is going to kill no. me. I, Shouldn't I, have signed him on. I, I would be like, I don't want to forget about that cocksucker, so I'm a pr- I want a prosthetic fucking alligator attached to my hand. <laughs> <laughs> be like in Happy Gilmore. Yeah, but, uh, he's got the head <laughs> head for a hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Any shows coming up, Sandry? Uh, uh, no. Um, I I was taking a break for a bit. Uh, I thought uh, my friend Bill here was very funny at uh at the the Halloween show, but I I felt that uh, it was not up to my standard on uh, on the playing, so I've been taking a back seat a little bit, working on some new material. I'm mostly just drinking, crying. <laughs> <laughs> Which <laughs> is the it's most part, important it's part, part of, of the playing. It is. Yeah. It's part of the process. Yeah. Um, and so just nothing quick, booked, but... Uh, for our audience out there, uh, Zach Sandry, Domino Sandry, is a prolific singer-songwriter in the Chicagoland area. Uh, y- yes, that that is uh, accurate, uh, and I do. I will have I will have shows at some point. Um, if you are curious, I'll do a, I'll do a little plug of myself. I'm not not usually uh, big or good on that, but you can check me out on Facebook or uh, or Twitter or at the Schnauz Records website backslash Domino Sandry. I think forward slash, because I think backslash is like it's leaning backwards. I think okay, or or slashes. forwards one of the slashes. Slash, just say slash. Just slash, or just go to the homepage I'm and click on my involved. name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm pissed off I now. Um, uh, d- do follow my Twitter. It's really exciting. I don't know how to use Twitter. Um, 
<laughs> so when when things do go on there, it's very disjoint and, right. and they're always very no, short. I noticed that about your tweets; they're never over like 150 characters. N- no, they're, they're there generally never over like 50. Because I have nothing to say. I just need to. I need to have some sort of presence, right? Sure. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure the last one I put up there was uh, legitimately was I don't know how to use Twitter. <laughs> Did anyone retweet it? <laughs> no, <laughs> because I don't know how to use Twitter. <laughs> I yeah, me neither. I, that, that's why there's hear hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing. Can't go on Twitter because I don't know what the fuck. And pl- well, from what I've heard, it's just stupid fucking well, you gotta, trolling I, gossip. I don't have the time for that shit. I mean, like if I had a publicist, maybe. But I there's no way I, I'm gonna be able to. Aff- for a publicist and i don't have the time for that shit you know besides you 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 give me that sort of platform to be that egotistical all the time and i will become a monster yeah like that shit is made for people like that uh milo yiannopoulos or whatever yeah people who just want to hear their own voice or i guess see their own words People. I always, I always thought about trying to make a Kickstarter for like something that doesn't matter at all, <laughs> just to see if, it, just see how much money I could like milk out of it. I need a prosthetic. Yeah, alligator there we go. To my hand. You know, exactly. That's how I get the Luke Skywalker hand is a is a Kickstarter. Help me cut off my hand to get a yeah. robot one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I bet you that would make some money. I doubt it. Oh. <laughs> would you donate to that? <sighs> no, but I wouldn't donate to anything. Fair. I don't have money to do that. I no Actually, way. I do have money did, did to do you, that. I just won't. Did you, guys hear, <laughs> did you guys hear about that uh, fucking crazy, bad shit, idiot? Uh, like, it was like a woman reverend from the South where she posted some shit on, I don't know if it was Facebook or something, but she made a Kickstarter and she said, if, you, if, if each person doesn't donate 100 to $500 to me by this night, the hand of God will eat you or something. Like, the world will end. <laughs> so, made, so, like, little children everywhere stole their parents' credit cards? Yeah. That? Yeah. Well, 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 the biblical or, boogeyman? Yeah, or, or, or the, the people being saved, you know, jolting, pretending to have a fucking seizure at that, at that ch- you know, church of hers. Sure, talking in <laughs> tongues. I, I see the Lord. I see that gator. I, wanna, I just want to know what that feels like. Just to lose... All control, and, and not like in the like spiritual way. Just like we should you have to be mentally defunct at a certain level just to stand up in a in a crowd of people and just I'm saying I speaking. Latin Don't make backwards. fun of Ross's German accent. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I I you know I apologize. I didn't uh, I didn't mean to to go down that road. <laughs> Dude, maybe Ross saw God last episode. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. He was just speaking in tongues. Yeah. I really quickly want to give Ross a quick shout out. I received a lot of feedback from our listeners that they thought he was a great addition to the show. And Ross, if you're listening, uh, a lot of people out there really appreciate what you <sighs> had to say. So we have to have that fucking asshole on again? I'm afraid so. <laughs> <laughs> Es nest nam heitens